Good evening, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, 800-301-3886, autoappraise.com. You're checking out a 1938 Chevrolet Master Deluxe four-door suicide car. It's got a uh, older diamond white two-stage repaint. Little scuff right there on the uh, fender. A few variations of Nick's contact points uh, here and there, but the paint's good. it's got good cruising potential. The body's nice and straight. It's a frame off restoration a while back. Got an older uh, vintage air style uh, AC system, not blowing cold. The power steering pump's got a little bit of a whine. It's got power assisted rack and pinion, GM 10 bolt. Turbo 350 Chevy Trans, center line directional wheels. 15 inch uh, BF Goodrich Comp TAs. Take a look under the hood. Small block 350 earlier design. Power shrimp tank, poly four barrel, MSD uh, ignition, and MSD billet distributor. It's got upgraded push in style wiring harness. Later mile GM. Serpentine pulley system weight, later model GM short air compressor. Headers are showing a little age. A little bit of pitting and rust going on in this grill. It's all 12 volt push button, uh, push in fuses, I believe I told you. Rack and pinion. Take a look at the underbody. The underbody's real solid. No real rot or decay issues. I had it jacked up the other day. It's a solid steel body car uh, equipped with fiberglass fenders and running boards. Titled as a 34 Chev. Although it does have a uh, Missouri reassigned uh, identification number. Original body by Fisher Tag. certainly has a nice look. It appears that about 21,000 miles were put on it. So it hits the road pretty good. Got a pretty tight steering radius. There's a few scratches in the paint on the roof up here. It's a white car. It's going to be hard to show you those. Uh, this is a little bit of grass from the neighbor mowing their lawn. Those are not chips. Uh, but that being said, there are a few uh, chips and touch-ups in various locations on the car. A few scratches right here on top of the deck lid, as you can see. Those are probably the worst ones next to the ones up there in that front fender. Otherwise, the body, uh, it's straight. Let's take it for a drive. I'll show you the trunk and the interior real quick. The trunk's carpeted to match the interior of the vehicle. Got a spare and a jack in there. Rear mount battery. The back side of the deck lid's really clean. The seams are in nice shape. The bumpers are in pretty good shape. A little bit of rust forming behind this bolt there. And uh, most of the trim was either replated or replaced. A little bit of paint fade there. And these uh, taillight bezels could stand to be replaced. It's that cheap aftermarket chrome and it's pitting up. We've got some cool 90s era bullet holes. That's what everybody 
was doing back in that day. All right. Let's take it down the road. Car is for sale if you're interested, 800-301-3886. Door panels are done in a uh, blue cloth material done to match the seats and the side panels. Headliners done in a uh, light to medium gray. Seats are in nice shape, seat belts added. Carpet showing some fade. I think the whole interior would improve in looks if the carpet was swapped out. Up front we got a uh, GM tilt steering wheel installed. Under dash uh, air conditioning unit. Vintage reproduction gauges. In the uh, glove box there is a stereo mounted with a CD player. Trim's in pretty decent shape in here. A little bit of patina on the door handles, a little worse on the drivers and the passenger, but not bad. Felts look like they're in pretty good shape. Rubbers have been uh, changed on the vent windows. We started out with over uh, 60 pounds of oil pressure. Car's been running for about 10 or 15 minutes now. Temp's setting nice uh, at about 160. I think that's about all it's going to give us. Gas gauge is working. Dash lights appear to be working. And oil pressure is rolling somewhere around 30 pounds at idle. Sun Super Tack is operational. Turn signals are operational. Headlights and taillights you already saw. Got a low car shifter. Hooked to a turbo 350 Chevy. Didn't feel any shift kit or presence of a quick shift when we were driving down the road a minute ago. Horn works. switched to operate. I'm not sure if I'm not doing it right or maybe they're not hooked up. Hoping we're not going to need them tonight. Pushing on the pedal. Power assist seems to work good and my hands are not on the wheel. Car seems to be stopping nice and straight. Disc front, drum rear and that GM uh, 10 bolt rear end. Turning radius seems nice. It's pretty tight. It's a quick turning radius take off from a dead stop. The car's got a little bit of a hesitation at the onset. Could be a timing adjustment issue or maybe a worn accelerator pump in the carburetor. But once we're past that it seems to accelerate okay.
Okay, leave us some feedback. Thanks again. The underbody's real solid. No real rot or decay issues. I had it jacked up the other day. It's a solid steel body car uh, equipped with fiberglass fenders and running boards. Titled as a 34 Chef. Fully system late, later model GM short air compressor. Headers are showing a little age. Bit of pitting and rust going on in this grill. It's all 12 volt push button, uh, push in fuses, I believe I told you. Rack and pinion. Take a look at the underbody. Good evening, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. 800-301-3886, autoappraise.com. You're checking out a 1938 Chevrolet Master Deluxe. Four-door suicide car. It's got a uh, older diamond white two-stage repaint. A little scuff right there on the uh, fender. A few variations of Nick's contact points uh, here and there, but the paint's good. It's got turbo 350 Chevy Trans, center line directional wheels, 15 inch uh, VF Goodrich Comp TAs. Take a look under the hood. Small block 350 earlier design. Holly four barrel MSD uh, ignition and MSD billet distributor. It's got upgraded push in style wiring harness. Later model GM serpentine. Good cruising potential. The body's nice and straight. It's a frame off restoration a while back. Got an older uh, vintage air style uh, AC system, not blowing cold. The power steering pump's got a little bit of a whine. It's got power assisted rack and pinion, GM 10 bolt, 